Hi, I'm Goober, and welcome to another episode of Anything But Authentic. Today, we'll be making an easy and fun recipe called Brown Sugar Boba Milk Pudding. We'll start with making the Japanese milk pudding. In a saucepan or small pot, add 1 8 ounce of unflavored gelatin powder, 1 and a half tablespoon of sugar, whoops! Just a little tip, it's advisable to not drop random things into your food. Anyways, continue to add a pinch of salt, half a cup of heavy cream, and 1 and 3 quarters of a cup of whole milk. Warm the milk pudding mixture on medium low, stirring constantly. Make sure you don't let the mixture come to a boil, and continue mixing until the gelatin and sugar are all dissolved. The gelatin powder may take a little bit longer to dissolve, but once the mixture heats up, it will dissolve quickly. As soon as everything is well combined, take it off the heat, then gently pour them into four ramekins. Afterward, cover them with plastic wrap and let it cool in the fridge for at least 4-6 to six hours. Then we move on to making the brown sugar boba. Bring a full pot of water to a full boil. Then add half a cup of boba and give it a little stir. Then we wait until all the boba floats to the surface. A few notes. It's best to follow the instructions attached to the packet of your dry boba. Also, since boba is only good being served fresh, it's best to make them around half an hour to an hour before serving. Once all the boba floats to the surface, Cover the pot and cook on medium heat for 5 to 8 minutes. Afterward, turn off the heat and let it simmer for another 5 to 8 minutes. Once it's done, drain it and set it aside. Then we move on to the brown sugar syrup. In a heavy saucepan, add half a cup of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and a quarter cup of water. Bring it to a boil and let it thicken up. After around 3 to 5 minutes, or until you can smell a bit of the caramel, add the drained boba to the brown sugar syrup. Give it a little stir and let it cook for another minute or so. Afterward, take the brown sugar boba off the heat and let it cool for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Take out a ramekin, place a small knife along the inside edge of the ramekin and rotate to loosen up the milk pudding. Turn it upside down. Give the bottom and sides a little pat and voila. Then, take a small ice cream scoop or spoon and scoop out a small hole on top. Afterward, fill the area with some boba and drizzle a bit of brown sugar syrup. And there you have it, a soft, creamy, caramelly, and chewy plate of brown sugar boba milk pudding. Delicious.